As Earth Day approaches, we're taking a look at the impacts of climate change and biodiversity loss on our ecosystems across the state. Your reporter Olivia Young looks at two native pollinators whose numbers are already declining and tells us what that means for Colorado. Humming and buzzing fill the air as Colorado's native pollinators come out for spring. Their pollination is the foundation of our ecosystem and the magic behind beauty like this. But each year, researchers are seeing less of certain pollinators. We used to have many more hummingbirds. I've been feeding hummingbirds here for 21 years now. Arvind Punjabi still hasn't spotted a hummingbird in his Fort Collins yard. It's the latest he's ever waited for one. Sadly, this one has not been used yet this spring, so I don't know if that's a sign of things to come here. Punjabi monitors bird populations for the Bird Conservancy of the Rockies. He's seen big changes in the state's hummingbird species. The broad-tailed hummingbird has uh, unfortunately been going uh, through a long-term decline. Uh, it's lost nearly 50 percent of its population since 1970. Uh, on the other hand, the black-chinned hummingbird has been increasing uh, over the last uh, 50 years and moving north. The black-chinned birds do well in desert environments, while broad-tailed hummingbirds are suited to cooler climates and higher elevations and have seen a 30 percent population decline in the last decade alone. According to a 2019 Audubon Society report, broad-tails are one of the birds most vulnerable to climate change in Colorado. With a projected 69 percent range loss if temperatures warm by three degrees Celsius. Could we see broadtails being extinct in Colorado at some point? That's really hard to say. Uh, one thing we could see is, you know, their disappearance from the lower elevations. If things get hotter and drier down here, they'll be forced to move up. It's a problem another Colorado pollinator is facing with even greater urgency. Because bumblebees are adapted to those uh, cool, high elevation environments, uh, as the climate warms, there's only so much more up you can go. CSU professor and bee researcher John Mola took part in a study on the health of native pollinating insects commissioned by state lawmakers in 2022, which found that one in five Colorado bumblebee species are at risk. In the next 50 years or so, we could see substantial declines in, in these species. The researchers are now petitioning for those bees to receive protection under the Endangered Species Act. Mola says the western bumblebee in particular could be near extinction before the end of the century. But it's not just climate. Non-native pathogens, loss of habitat, and pesticides may be contributing to declines in population for both the birds and the bees. It begs the question, what would a Colorado without these pollinators look like? Experts say the ecosystem could be disrupted. So could Colorado's agriculture and tourism industries. The prices of crops um, that rely on bumblebee population going up in price um, or even becoming scarce or or lower in nutritional quality. It's why researchers want to take steps now to protect the pollinators who put the color in Colorado. If you love wildflower displays in Colorado, then you really love uh, that bee diversity that enables those beautiful displays. It sure would be sad to lose such a charismatic bird that uh, is so approachable and lives in such a uh, you know, symbiosis with uh, our people here in Colorado. Uh, Restoring habitat and learning more about the species will be key in protecting both the birds and the bees. In Fort Collins, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First.